Hello, my beautiful people. Oh, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be all about affordable drugstore powder foundations that I've tried and tested on my combination oily skin over time. Today, I will be going in all the nitty gritty details about all the powder foundations there today in front of me. I'll be talking about their quality, how they apply, how they wear. So if you're on a budget or looking for a new, a reliable powder foundation, this video is for you. But before we deep dive in into affordable powder foundation, a stash that I have in in front of me, I would like to welcome new visitors and viewers to my channel. Hi, my name is Eve and I love the all things beauty. Here on my channel, I talk about makeup, skincare, hair care, and at times lifestyle things like travel and fashion. If that sounds like your thing, I hope you stick around and subscribe to my channel. And if you also enjoy this video, give this a big thumb up. And now without further ado, let's dive in into affordable powder foundation stash. Have. So today I have eight different powder foundation formulas in front of me that I'm going to be talking about in deep details. Of course, all these products have some similarity in their formulations because after all, they are all powder foundations. However, there are quite big differences in how they wear because at the end of the day, this is what matters the most. And I hope you find all the answers in this video that you may have about any of these products and it will help you with your purchasing decisions. But before we get into a powder foundation, I want to introduce my skin type to you and the concerns that I have for my skin. I'm a combination oily skin and I do have visible, more visible pores on my T-zone and my forehead is the oiliest. I usually have a little more redness on my cheek area, around my eyebrows, and sometimes around my nose. I do not generally suffer from a lot of texture or breakouts. However, at times I do have some breakouts primarily on my chin area. I love powder foundations generally. That's why I have such stash. In one of my recent videos, I've shared my powder foundation routine with you, which brushes I like to use and actually showed you the application and shared my little tricks and tips. I will have this video linked for you here and also in the description box. Whenever I use powder foundation, I usually primarily use it as a overall base complexion product. And by that, I mean that I would normally use a different type of powder around my eyes area or to set my concealer around my eyes. However, there are some formulas today that I'm gonna be talking about that are perfectly suitable for using in the delicate areas around your eyes. So now let's get into the powder foundations. Uh, the first powder foundation th that I would like to talk about today is the Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear Powder Foundation by L'Oreal. This powder foundation claims to have a full coverage, matte finish, being very lightweight, breathable, transfer-proof, sweat-proof, waterproof, and is suitable for all skin types, including sensitive skin. And this is the shade that best matches me when I am a little bit more self-tanned. So from this side, you have a really nice mirror and there was a sponge, which is no longer there for me. This powder foundation is a little bit softly pressed. It doesn't have the biggest fallout. However, it's still a little bit of a fallout when you pick it up with a brush. I do prefer applying this powder foundation with a brush primarily with a pressing or circular motions and it does build up really nicely however I do not get a full 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 coverage out of this powder I do get a really nice high medium coverage I do find it very lightweight and considerably smoothing on skin also if you like higher coverage in certain areas I would take a sponge pack your sponge really well with the powder and then press into all those areas that you like more coverage in. And that technique works very well. This powder foundation has pretty big claims on the formulation. However, here I wanted to share with you how it wears on my combination oily skin. About five, six hours in, I definitely get my oils coming through pretty significantly that I need to retouch. It is not, however, uncommon for my skin type to do a retouching anywhere from like three to five hours. That this powder foundation definitely gave me a little extra time probably about five to six hours I would need to start retouching or looking into the mirror and noticing the changes generally I'm pretty content with this formulation however I do notice that this powder starts breaking down on me around my mouth area and because of that I prefer to use this powder foundation as a setting powder for my liquid complexion products and not as a full base the next powder that I'd like to talk about is one of the powders 
that I've spoken about many times here on my channel, and this is an adjustable coverage powder foundation from Ulta Beauty. I do currently have two shades in my collection. Packaging is a very simple. For this powder, you get a small mirror here that is a half of the lid, and it has a very standard sponge applicator. This is the shade Fair Warm, and this is the shade Fair Neutral. Uh, both of these powders have been very much loved and they also have been repurchased multiple times by me in the past several years. The fact that I have two of these powders with huge pans in them, that should speak for itself. However, this formula is truly amazing in my eyes. This lighter shade I like to use around my eyes area because this is a type of formula that gives you coverage if you build it up and depending on which tool you use. If you go light-handed and use a powder brush something like this that's a little bit pointed and just go in layers around your eyes and either in swiping motion or in a pressing it will give you a really nice coverage however it would also set your concealers if you're using them or you can also use a sponge like this i feel like this triangular shape really works well to set products under your eyes. So this formula is non-drying, it's not powdery. You can definitely go in like thinner layers and whenever you get a proper coverage that you desire, then you would just stop. Generally, I like to apply this powder foundation with a brush with pressing or circular motions. I also use this powder foundation on its own as a primary complexion product as well as a setting powder for my liquid formulas. This formula is very light, it's buildable. It feels nice and smooth and non-powdery on skin. It is also quite long wearing. This controls my oils pretty well. I get really, really good results of wear with this powder formula. This powder foundation formula is buildable. I definitely get a high medium coverage when I apply it with a brush. However, you can achieve a higher coverage, almost to a full coverage with this formula. Pick it up on a sponge and press it into the areas where you want more coverage. My one advice to you if you're interested in this powder foundation is going into the store and checking the shades. Personally find that the shade descriptions are different from the actual shades, what they look like in person. The next powder foundation that is up is Aqua Assurance Powder Foundation from JCAT. I have mine in the shade Porcelain. This specific shade matches me at my palest self. It's definitely a very brightening shade and whenever I'm not tan, I can use it all over my face. And if I am tanned, I can possibly use it on my T-zone to brighten up. This formula is pretty softly pressed. I like to still use it and apply it with a brush with a circular motion because of its softer texture. I feel like it definitely gives me a little bit smoother and more even complexion. I also love that this powder foundation personally for me does not cling to anything on my skin, whether it is a breakout or peach fuzz or a dry patch. I find this formula apply very consistently with even coverage all over my face. But to my opinion, this is quite distinctive feature of a powder foundation formula. This formula also gives you very high coverage, probably one of the highest coverage out of all my powder foundations that I have. This would give you full coverage pretty much right off the bat. It does look very nice on skin. It gives you a quite smoothing effect. However, from my experience, this is a powder that about five hours in, it started settling into my smile lines around my mouth and, and started accentuating the texture around my mouth that I technically don't even have. From my experience, this is a powder foundation formula that is really, really lovely, gives you a very high coverage and applies really easily and beautifully. However, is not very long wearing. There are some hydrating ingredients Ingredients within this formulation that's supposed to help you with retaining moisture in your skin. I don't think this is ideal formulation for my oily skin type. In my lineup of all the products that I'm talking about today, it is not the most long wearing for me. So the next powder foundation that I'd like to talk about is Alf Camo Powder Foundation, and I have mine in the shade Fair 150C. I have purchased this powder foundation twice, and second time around, I did get the right shade for me. So this shade an undertone works really well for me when I'm at my palest as overall complexion product. This powder foundation is considerably softly pressed and it does give you a really nice buildable coverage. It does build up quite a bit. You can definitely go in a little bit lighter layer and it would still give you a really nice medium coverage. If you'd like to get that higher coverage, 
go in multiple layers or again just use your sponge pick it up on a sponge press into a specific areas where you like more coverage and overall this powder wears pretty well on my skin however i would need to start retouching it in about three four hours mark and then i retouch it again at about like five six hour mark so in every few hours i would need to a retouch because my oils start coming through usually by the end of the day as overall this powder wears pretty well without wearing off in different areas or clumping up however it does settle into my smile line around my mouth the next powder foundation that i have here is i magic powder foundation from juvia's place this is a considerably new powder foundation formula that was launched not so long ago i do have a wear test a short video on my tiktok but i also showed it to you on camera in my full wear test video with the liquid foundation i have the shade catania and this is the powder shade that runs a little bit deeper than what you see in the pan but when i'm self tanned it perfectly matches my entire complexion however when i'm in my palest it works more of a setting powder on a perimeter of my face where i would normally apply the bronzer because the shade settles a little bit deeper than what you see in a pan but generally i'm very very content with this formula it's very nice and thin it also is not to my opinion very pigmented so it does give you a little bit more of that lighter to medium coverage and in that regard i really prefer this foundation to be used as a setting powder for my liquid complexions but besides that this formula is very long wearing it is smoothing it looks very nice and natural on skin it looks very beautiful and natural and it is also long wearing the next powder foundation up is this newly launched considerably newly launched from maybelline super stay 24 hours hybrid powder foundation and i have mine in shade 220 this powder foundation claims to be a medium to full coverage humidity sweat and transfer resistant and up to 24 hours wear this shade is a little bit deeper than my palest self i use it when i am a little bit more self tan this formula is a little bit softer on a pickup so you would definitely get a little bit of a fallout when you pick it up with a brush prefer to apply it with a denser brush with a circular motion and go in layers this powder foundation it definitely gives you a high coverage almost to the full coverage however it is not the most smoothing formula and i do find myself needing to set it with a hydrating or melting setting spray to melt the powderness of it down a little bit this powder settles in my smile lens just a little bit however did not need to be retouched much throughout the day just on my forehead hours and hours later and forehead is my oiliest part of the t-zone so generally this powder foundation is considerably alone wearing for my skin type definitely, i definitely left the best for last and here i have age perfect creamy powder foundation by l'oreal and mine is in the shade 300 ivory the packaging definitely could be a little bit improved i wanted to know the difference between this infallible 24 hour powder foundation the packaging seemed to be pretty much the same however this one is still intact for me and this one did not survive it's like when you open the infallible powder compact it feels a little bit sturdier than than this one this specific shade works really well for me at my natural self when i'm in my palest and it actually looks very nice and smooth on skin it almost gives me a no makeup makeup effect when you look up close you barely can tell that i do have anything on my skin it does also have that very natural finish to the skin i like to apply this powder foundation with a circular motion with a denser brush and i find that there's really almost no fallout when you pick it up from the pan however when you apply it on skin it does perform like a creamier formula it does go in a very nice thin layer but then it also does build up in the coverage and you do a really get nice high medium coverage out of this this powder wears really well throughout the day it is by far i think the best performing powder foundation whenever i wear this powder foundation as my primary complexion product i find myself not needing to retouch it until later in the day maybe about seven eight hours into the day i start getting a little bit of glowy on my forehead and then i might just use a blotting paper i don't even technically need to medify it with a more powder it just wears so well on my skin and again i would normally wear it without a 
primer just on my no normal skincare thin enough formula that gives you coverage however it doesn't settle into my smile lines i also usually do not set it with any setting spray and i think this is a wonderful formulation the last but not least a powder foundation that i would like to share with you today is the healthy powder foundation spf 16 from physicians formula mine is in the shade lc1 this is a powder foundation that i have been using for years this product have been repurchased by me so many times i lost count at the moment it is a little bit trickier to find it it is still available in certain retailers however it's not available everywhere this is of course the shade that matches my palest complexion however i also enjoy using it as a setting powder for my liquid complexion product this has a very nice smoothing formulation so whenever you use it on its own like conceal certain areas and then just use it as a primary foundation then it does give you a really nice medium buildable coverage it's not very high coverage however it does cover your redness it does also give you a smoothing effect this formulation also has a little sheen to it however it's not like you would apply a highlighter it just has this healthy sheen to it i find this formula very long lasting and this is also the type of formula that i'm comfortable using setting my under eye concealer it's very nice and thin and doesn't settle into lines okay, uh, this sums up my video today i hope you found it helpful i hope it answered a lot of your questions if you have any additional questions please leave them in the comments below if you enjoyed this video about the affordable powder foundations and my high-end powder foundations a roundup video will be up on my channel in the next two weeks so if you like to see that make sure you are subscribed to my channel and hit the notification bell that you are notified next time i upload new video thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me today and i will see you in my next videos bye